Now, contrary to what most of you think, not every component inside a car is manufactured in-house by a car maker. In fact, it's sourced from a tier one supplier like ZF Technologies. Now, ZF is a German brand that's 99 years old. So today on this episode of On The Line, I have with me Mr. Piyush Munoth, who's the head of ZF's uh, operations in India. Piyush, welcome to the show. Thank firstly. you. Uh, let's talk about the global trends. Uh, what's what's happening right now in the world? Are manufacturers uh, going from manufacturing uh, components in-house to go, uh, going to suppliers, tier one suppliers like yourself? I think we see the OEs uh, focusing a lot on uh, the improving the efficiency of the vehicle, and they're focusing on uh, a few aspects that are really going to improve the styling and uh, the uh, entire package of the vehicle. So they can't possibly um, uh, do every component in-house. So therefore, uh, they rely on competent uh, component manufacturers like ourselves who have been in the business of making auto components in the driveline and chassis space for uh, close to 100 years. Uh, and uh, that's where we feel that not only globally but also in India, uh, there is a trend to work with uh, component manufacturers like ourselves and uh, build upon the uh, technologies and the focuses that we have in-house. ZF is a name that is synonymous, albeit clandestinely, with modern automotive technology. For those of you who haven't heard of them, they're the blokes who've been making the driveline and chassis technologies for the cars that most of you drive. The range of vehicles they cater to span from the Tata Nano to the Range Rover Evoque. ZF has 121 facilities in 26 countries, making them one of the 10 largest automotive suppliers in the world. Jamshed, this is our automated uh, manual transmission, uh, yeah. also uh, the AMT, uh, which is getting very popular in the Indian market. Yeah, with the Celerio. That's right, right. Uh, we are not present in the Celerio, but we have uh, various applications in the European market that we cater to. So what you can see here is uh, a traditional standard transmission, uh, which is a manual transmission fitted with actuations, uh, which are uh, actuating both the gearbox as well as uh, the clutch. And this allows a normal manual transmission uh, to work like an automatic transmission at a much lower cost level. The price gap between a fully automatic and an uh, and a automated manual transmission is pretty large. And therefore, we are able to offer a product which is uh, apt in price for a segment of car in which this can be applicated. This is the first time ZF has uh, launched a uh, transmission which has a north-south configuration. Uh, traditionally, our uh, transmissions have been have a transverse uh, configuration, which you will also see. These are produced in series, which is the eight-speed. But now, uh, our, our brand new product, our nine-speed transmission, will go into products like the SUV, the Evoque. This is um, our famous and uh, already in uh, series produced uh, eight-speed gearbox. This is a, a transverse uh, type. Uh, and uh, what you can see is uh, the traditional part of the gearbox would end somewhere here. But uh, we also make uh, electric motors uh, which allow a hybrid, uh, hybridization of uh, the vehicle to take place. And uh, this is uh, a modular concept in which we have integrated our electric motor into the system and uh, makes it uh, a product which is absolutely compact in terms of packaging and integrated for the functionality that it has to bring. We had uh, uh, the pleasure to work with Tata Motors on the new Nano. It's called the Nano Twist, uh, which you have seen in the market. And uh, this uh, is the smallest steering system which we have ever made. Uh, this is uh, a electronic uh, or electric power steering, which is a column type, which is column driven. Uh, and uh, we uh, have applied it on the Nano and on a few new of the Tata vehicles will also get uh, this program. Passenger cars aren't the only vehicles to benefit from ZF's technology, even commercial vehicle giants source their technology from ZF. From massive gearboxes capable of enduring earth-moving amounts of torque, to axles and drive shafts that propel tons of weight, ZF has solutions for most commercial vehicles' needs. In fact, they're the ones who've been pushing better, safer and more efficient technologies in this price-sensitive segment of vehicles. Can you tell us in commercial vehicles how important is it uh, to get the right uh, supplier partner for OEMs? I think um, um, as uh, the passenger car industry has shown partnerships uh, across the board help uh, the OEMs to make a product which is differentiating uh, themselves uh, from uh, the other 
um, uh, manufacturers uh, and this is only possible through cooperative uh, work with auto component guys and uh, this is uh, not only a trend but a fact also in the commercial vehicle space. So we work very closely uh, w during the design phase and the conceptualization phase uh, of the uh, even a commercial vehicle and uh, the OEMs uh, uh, use us also uh, to share uh, the knowledge that we have in our particular domain of uh, driveline and chassis components uh, to design a product uh, which is uh, suitable and efficient uh, enough for that performance uh, for that category of uh, vehicles. The off-highway segment which comprises of construction and agricultural equipment is one of the most important segments for a country's growth and globalization and it is also an important segment for ZF Technologies. ZF supplies heavy-duty CVD transmissions and axles to commercial vehicle makers with an intention to reduce emissions and increase efficiency and productivity. Alpish, we've seen the passenger car side of things, we've seen the, the commercial vehicle side of things, but I believe that off-highway segment is also quite huge for ZF, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Um, the off-highway segment uh, contributes uh, more than uh, 2 billion euros uh, in sales uh, all over the world. And uh, here are a few products that we make uh, in India for India. We have the uh, uh, backhaul loader uh, here which is uh, fitted with our axles and transmissions. The transmission uh, has a special feature that it is a power shift transmission which is like an automatic uh, version of uh, what is uh, traditionally available in this segment. The wheel loader is fitted with both our transmissions and axles. The axles are made in India, whereas the transmission comes from our plants in Germany. At the far end, we have our motor grader. Uh, this is mainly used for the road works. We supply uh, the axles and uh, um, transmissions as well for this one. So, um, uh, besides construction equipment, the off-highway segment also caters to uh, two other product lines, that is um, uh, tractors, um, uh, farm equipment, uh, as well as uh, material handling. Well, Piyush, thank you so much for showing us around and uh, giving us this different perspective uh, to the automotive sector.